that's gonna be glorious. Everyone fails at who they are supposed to be. The real measure of a person is how well they succeed in being who they are. I want this cheesy motivational quote to hover like a ghost over this entire channel update because it does really speak to me in 2020. Welcome to Wintergat on Wednesdays, time for a channel update. Shh. We have nothing else to cut to, so it doesn't matter if I do the cool hand transition, it's just gonna be back to me. <laughs> In the snowboard video two weeks ago, I talked about the contradictory problem I have between making good YouTube videos and finishing my art. During the whole YouTube adventure, which has been absolutely, absolutely wonderful, I have been obsessed by controlling the narrative about myself. I think in my head, that I have not been building a marble machine, I've been making YouTube videos. For 2020, I have to stop doing that. I will not stop with the YouTube videos, but I have to stop prioritizing how the video comes out to you each week over my artistic peaks. Putting in so much time and effort into these weekly YouTube videos has lowered my artistic peak. And my ultimate responsibility to you and to all the backers is to do the delayed gratification thing that is so hard nowadays and actually accept maybe another kind of storytelling each Wednesday, another kind of video production method and lift my brain outside the YouTube hole and put it to my art. And you've been hearing me saying this for so long time and it's really really tricky when when you get so much love and warmth and kindness and attention picture me on a monday w waking up in the morning if i put time into the video that's going up on wednesday 300,000 people are going to notice that if i put time into fusion 360 trying to cad some kind of mechanical problem no one is going to notice that short term but 2020 will be everything about long term for me the pain of of the slow marble machine progress has finally become larger than the pain of making Wednesday videos and I think maybe the videos are going to become better but I have great 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 news on this topic for a long time I've been working full-time with Hannes the video editor cap from the 1st of January we have another team member it's Chris who you met earlier in the voodoo excel video and Chris is now working full-time with us helping us making these videos helping me plan my whole project and helping me plan for the future so I just want to say a welcome to Chris to the team Having Chris on the team will free up even more of my time so I can focus on the marble machine and my music to perform the high peaks in my art and still document the process in a really high quality way for you. Having Chris full time has been made possible entirely by like the six and a half thousand Wintergatan backers out there. Before I felt a little bit awkward receiving this support and I want to say personal thank you to each and one of you because you are basically making the Marble Machine X possible and you're making this documentation of the process possible. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I think I have been obsessed by how people see me and obsessed by controlling the narrative about myself. 2020 for me is to really not be the one I'm supposed to be but be the one I am and put my time and my brain power into performing the peaks in my art. The things that only I can do, I will concentrate on. And now when I have a great team around me, also my mother is helping a lot. We're like four people now working full time for the Wintergatan project. And now it's only up to me to let go of trying to control my own narrative. This is really important. I saw a great video with Lindsay Ellis about trying to let go of the control of your own narrative. I'm using I'm wearing sunglasses because I always try to control the narrative about me as a person who doesn't have bags under his eyes <laughs> and that's not going so well for obvious reasons. Finally, I think I'm ready to let go of that. It doesn't matter. Taking the sunglasses off can be like a perfect symbol for letting go of trying to control my own narrative. I leave it up to you. I trust you. <laughs> so I want to explain a little bit. I'm on a five week 
long trip. So I'm here in Sweden now, this beautiful lake where I used to swim a lot. So it's like super calm and wonderful. And I'm meeting my family and I'm meeting my friends. I think after a week away from the workshop, I started to really long the workshop. And I have a lot of cool parts that we're gonna assemble as soon as I'm back. During this time, it's a little bit harder to make really good videos for you because I actually only want to show Marble Machine X progress. Since I needed this break, I, I can't do those videos right now. So that's why you have seen some other stuff. Next week, I'm meeting Marcus, David and Evelina, the whole Wintergatan band. And we're going to go into a music studio to just jam together for two days. It's going to be amazing to go to Stockholm and do that. So I'm looking so much forward to that. And then I'm going to go home. I'm going to start with the funnels. I'm going to start with the bass drops. I'm going to start with a timing precision project. When those three are done, we're pretty much ready to make music with the Marble Machine X. Oh, the kinetic fingers as well. Oh yes, you're gonna love those. The revenge of the kinetic fingers will happen when I come back. That's gonna be glorious. During the last two weeks of my trip, I think I'm actually going to take a break from YouTube. I don't want to waste your time with too many filler videos. I want to get straight into the action of the Marble Machine X and the Music Machine Monday Season 2. Two weeks break from now and then we're gonna be back full on with Marble Machine X completion during this spring. I'm so excited to show you that. Thank you all so much for caring about this project and thank you for letting me grow during the process and keep on learning together with you. You are the best community I know of. It's just an amazing amount of support. I'm so humbled by that and I'm gonna pay back this responsibility by doing what I need to do art doing things that no one else can do in the world except me <laughs> yes yes marble machine x it's not like time travel but it feels almost as difficult okay take care we have picked out some questions from the comment field marvin anwar asks about the on the phone martin says this is not working me what how is that not working Marvin, uh, the on the phone is too hard to play. So what you heard in that video, I forgot to tell in the video, is uh, something that I edited a lot afterwards to make it sound good. It's hard to play it in pitch. It does play in pitch, but it's hard to get it really, really nicely, accurately in pitch. And the sound is not the way I wanted it. So it's basically not working. Depstart asks about the on the phone. Can you please release that track as a single? So we are planning to make another name for all the tracks that I make for the videos and release them on like Spotify because I really make them fast. I make them, it takes me one day to make a track like that, more or less. It's craft music. It's not melodies that I feel in my heart. I don't want to call them Wintergatan songs. So we're just gonna find out like another name, Wilson or something. When we found the name out, we're gonna put them on Spotify. Dembai asks about the muting systems. What are you going to do to prevent friction wearing away the parts that must slide across each other. I personally have used graphite powder on wooden parts like that but not sure if you have a solution. Graphite powder is the best solution and even the technicians at Spilcock Museum uh, taught me to use graphite powder for wood because it's a dry lubricant that doesn't make the wood swell. So good idea, thanks for reminding me. Why Pancakes asks, when will you play the Marble Machine song on the Marble Machine X? Last. I need to show the world that the Marble Machine X can make 20 new songs when I made 20 new songs, I'm gonna play the original Marble Machine song on the Marble Machine X. By Lithium Deter ED, will the MMX ever be finished? But maybe even more important is the other question. Should the MMX ever be finished? Uh, yes, it should. Probably the answer is it will never be finished, but at one point we just have to collectively agree that we can call it finished and we need to do that. Nathan Henry, do you really need kinetic fingers when your Sentinel marble drop lever moves exactly as you intended for visual cue? Uh, yes, we really need the <laughs> kinetic fingers because they move much more and you will see them from a much longer distance. And uh, I have a new design for the kinetic fingers that is more easy to love. From Rob, a patron, have you worked out how you're going to safely transport the MMX during your band's world tour? In my 20 plus years with NASA, that's cool, I've seen too many projects neglect to integrate future transportation logistics into the design of a priceless instrument. Yes, the modularity 
of the Marmarchin X design, which has caused us so much pain and so much work, ensures the transportation. So in the beginning, I had a meeting with a person who works with transporting like Picasso paintings and symphony orchestras all across Europe with flight. And he told me that as long as each module is within 160 centimeters, 160 by 160 by 160, you can actually ship it on plane. So that is why the Marmachin X is made modular. These modules will be taken apart and go into a case each. That is our solution for the worldwide transportation. Otherwise, I would just have built it in one piece. Very cool you're working at NASA. I'm a big fan. By Jeffer, also from Patreon. Hi Martin, have you ever considered releasing the CAD files for the Marble Machine? I think I will do that. Uh, I think it would be really fun to see people hack the Marble Machine X. I just need to consolidate the whole project. It's a lot of files. It feels like it's like 2,000 files. We should do that one day. Skinned Soul asking, will the full song for this machine be recorded live? Can this more solid version of the machine be transported with ease to be played live? Will you play live? So Skin Soul, good question. I need to get the Marble Machine X to perform so well so I could record it live in the studio. This is going to be the requirement that defines when the Marble Machine X is finished. My idea is to record it live in the studio on like 25 audio channels in one go and that should basically be the song and then of course you will do a lot of post-production mixing on those audio tracks before the Marmachine X can perform that I can't use it live and we will play live so yes. Mm -hmm.